everyone, Brad Halverson here. I'm going to do a walkthrough of the acoustic and electric saws using my demo Infiltrating the Grand Bazaar. So we'll take a quick listen here and then we'll dive into some specifics. So I have the Acoustic Saws Performance NKI queued up here, and you'll notice we have the standard features built in, as well as an onboard EQ, but we're actually going to focus on these other features that you see in the top right corner here. These functions can be activated by our key switches. If you notice on the left side of my keyboard the different colors, these are all of your key switches, so let me demonstrate for you here. These can be applied to each string individually or all three strings at the same time. Now slide is your legato. Uh, it can be activated for each string or all three at the same time. So let me demonstrate for you. You can make adjustments to the speed and interval of the legato, which I will show you shortly, but first I just want to demonstrate some of the other effects here. So first off is the pluck mute. And now here's the choke function. So if we go into our settings, this is where we can make adjustments to the legato. You see we can adjust the range, speed, and volume of the transition, but we can also make some adjustments to the key switches. So if you see we've got momentary and latching. Momentary means that the effect will remain active only as long as the key switch is depressed. You see I demonstrate here. And latching means that you can press the key switch and it will remain active until you press it again. As you can see I'm demonstrating for you here. One of the great new features we've added is this awesome sound effects rack, which I'll show you here. Uh, we have modulation effects, compression, distortion, amps and cabs, delay, reverb, and EQ, uh, all which can be adjusted. So I'm going to demonstrate what these sound like for you right now. Okay, so you've heard the slide legato function in action. Now we're going to take a look at some of the other features. Uh, first, we'll take a look at the glissando or the glissatron, and I will demonstrate how to use it for you. It's part of the Acoustic Saws Tuned Percussion NKI. So this is under the arpeggiation along with uberpeggiator and strumulator. So you can choose different scales, uh, the speed, direction, and range of the glissando. So here I have it set to 5, as is reflected in our velocity table. Notice how it changes as I adjust the range up and down. And let me demonstrate what it sounds like for you. So you can see that the range basically corresponds to the length of and number of notes in the glissando. And this is what it sounds like in the scope of the piece. So the tuned percussion NKI is also a layer builder. 
and it just has all of the different articulations within the library built into each layer, as well as the standard features, the attack, release, start offset, etc., etc. So you can create some pretty unique custom sounds, and it also has the new effects rack built into it as well. The Tune Percussion NKI also has some great percussive elements to it, and I would like to demonstrate what I have used in this piece, so I'll go ahead and solo it, and this is what it sounds like. So next let's take a look at some of the different articulations, the first of which is the pluck mute, which I have used as the driving tuned percussive element to the piece. So here's a quick solo demonstration. So now we'll take a look at the Tune Percussion NKI again, uh, this time utilizing the Uberpegiator for a driving bass rhythm. I've drawn a custom velocity table just to remove the machine gun effect, and I've also used the built-in EQ to really beef up the low end. So next I'm going to demonstrate some of the different sounds you can create with the uh, built-in FX rack using the Performance Simple Uber NKI. So here I've taken that driving low-end part and altered it. The next two tracks that I'm going to demonstrate really show off the versatility of the FX built in to the reverb in the FX rack. Uh, here is the first track, which has a ratchet effect. Alright, so one of the other things that you can do with the FX built into the reverb is create these simulated ambiences. Basically what I did is I took an uberpegiated rhythm and applied effects to it and then boosted the wet signal as much as I possibly could. And this was the end result. Here it is without the reverb. All right, so I'm going to let the piece play out, and then we're going to move on to the electric saws version of the same composition.
Okay, so now I'm going to switch to the next project file and we will take a look at the electric saws. So this is the same composition, just featuring instruments from the electric saws. <laughs> So you'll notice that the interface is a little bit different than the acoustic saws. This is the electric saws performance NKI. Uh, we do have the attack release, start offset, and release volume built in, but we also have some different options for your pickups. Uh, you have the bridge coil, neck coil, bridge phase, and neck phase. As with the acoustic saws, we can also adjust our legato settings and our key switch settings. It also comes with the same sound effects rack that we have with the acoustic saws, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'll just play some of the excerpts that I demonstrated in the previous demo and show you some of the tonal differences uh, between the acoustic saws and the electric saws. So first up is the rhythmic pluck mute. <laughs> So it produces some really grungy, awesome sounding staccatos. Next, we're going to take a look at the uberpegiated bass part uh, from the tuned percussion NKI. These sounds were focused around the neck pickup, and there's also a bridge pickup tuned percussion NKI as well. All of these sounds are organic, uh, but I just took a real advantage of the new built-in effects rack to get the desired sound that I wanted. So what I'm pulling up now is actually one of my saved presets. It comes from the Electric Saws Performance NKI, but I just added uh, some custom effects to it using the FX rack. And with this instrument, I'm featuring the hammer-on articulation. And then I'm going to let the track play out so you can hear the whole arrangement. Uh, and the difference between the electric saws and the acoustic, and also just how powerful both of these libraries are. So I hope you enjoy.
that concludes my demo for the acoustic and electric saws. Uh, we took a pretty good look at the libraries, but uh, we really only scratched the surface, so I would encourage you to take a look for yourself and see what you can come up with. And uh, I really look forward to hearing some of your tracks. Thank you.